Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. And in this video, we are going to learn about the most important thing that you do while doing an API testing, which is CRUD. We're going to learn how to do get request, post request, put request, patch request, and delete request by using the rest assured library, guys. Uh, this is the most important point to learn, or you can say most important concept to learn in rest assured because this will create a baseline, or you can say base. Uh, structure of your API automation framework that you are going to create, right? So let's jump into the tutorial. Let's jump into the practical part. What, how we, how we are doing it. Okay. So uh, before, let me share my screen. Yeah. So uh, before moving on, just wanted to give you uh, this thing that, uh, guys, we are doing a 30 days of API testing with Rest Assured, and this is the part of the series, right? And if you want to know more about it, I will suggest you to go to scrolltest.com slash ra which is scrolltest.com.com slash ra and in this video we're going to cover the these stpp method which is post put delete get and patch so that you will have an understanding of how crud works in rest assured and after that we'll move towards the advanced concept related to rest assured like hammercast library uh, how to parse a json how to serialize or deserialize a particular json file how to work with pojo and all Right. So this is like uh, again a simple tutorial where we're gonna, we're gonna cover the basic CRUD operation in uh, Rest Assured. Right. So let's uh, jump into the directly IntelliJ. Right. So uh, yeah, I hope it is better now. Right. So what we are doing? Let me open this thing. So we are using this uh, very simple API, which is which is basically used to test. Uh, it is a dummy API. Generally, most of the people over the internet used to test it out, right? So uh, it contains the list of users. Basically, when you hit uh, R, uh, request response, basically req res dot in slash api slash user page is equal to two. It will basically give you a page equal to two. Let me show you how it's work. So it will give you this uh, JSON array, uh, JSON object containing the different data about this. Right. So similarly, you can have a data of single user. Uh, you can create a new user by create by making a post request. Right. Uh, you can update a update as an existing user by making a put request. Right. Similarly, you can update a partial update. You can give a partial update by using a patch request. So patch is used for partial update. But while making a patch request, you need to pass the which user you want to work in. Similarly, for put request, you have to tell which user you want to work on, right? Where while working with post users, you don't need to pass it because you're creating a new user. Similarly, you can use delete and you need to pass which user to delete, right? So this is a CRUD operation in API testing. And this is the most important thing that you have to learn uh, before making your automation framework. If you have the basic understanding how you can do it in a particular, uh, any kind of a API testing library or framework, even if you are choosing Python, JavaScript, or Java, then if you know how to do CRUD in APIs, right, then uh, your API testing framework will be solid. And uh, most of the things that you will be doing are after that will be writing the test uh, test cases for your APIs, right? So let's do uh, let's go one by one and see how this works in Rest Assured, right? So I have given a very simple example, which is basically getting the getting this thing. Right, so this is get uh, basically that this is get all users on page two, right? So how you can do it is very simple one. Uh, Rest assured works in a very simple way. You need to mention the base URI, right? So the project that we are using is simple Maven project, and in the Maven project we have added test ng as our uh, testing framework. And right now I am using a simple file. This is not a test, basically nest test ng or is just a main function that I'm running. Uh, this is a demo example, right? And all the links, all the description, all the code is in description. So don't worry about it, right? So uh, what you need to do is that you need to set up a base URL first. So you can set up the base URL, which is this till now. Uh, so this is the base URL and this is the what is what is this? This is params, right? So you uh, you can give query param page is equal to two. Right. So I have explained in the previous video that rest assured works in a very simple manner where you need to have a given when and then. So given in the given, basically you uh, you what you do is that you just prepare your API request. So while you are preparing your request, you need to give the URL endpoint. Right. So the the 
URL endpoint becomes base URL plus query param. So that will become like similar to this one, right? And after that, in the when you mention with what type of request that you are making, right? So you can have get request. So basically, we are mentioning that okay, we want to perform a HTTP method which is get, right? I don't want to type in front of you because that will make it a uh, typing expert. So I don't want to waste your time. I respect your time, guys. So I have already written to uh, return the code. I'm just explaining you step by step what is what, right? But I would recommend you guys to uh to uh, write by your own and if you are forgetting something just take a help from the existing source code that i have given you make sense right so you are making a get request and after when you have uh, done your request get request you need to make make a then request right in then request we are using a assert method which is basically checking for 200 right and similarly we are checking the body equal to two now the question is what is this equal to two right and how we are getting page request page right so when you make when when you will make the full request right so the response will be like this so this will be a full object json response object right and that will be available in the dot body right and in body there's there there's a function basically you need you can mention the uh, json expression right so if your keys are directly available for example page you can mention directly page right if, it, if you want to get data dot id right you need to mention data in array and id then you can do it also uh, also here we're gonna i'm gonna explain all the thing in the when we are when we are working with json in that case right and equal to is the basically a method by it's a match of matcher by hammer class library so there are two concepts that you're missing here which is json parsing and hammer class library that we are going to cover in next video right but here uh, if you see what we are checking is that okay page is equal to 2 is coming or not right in that case so if we make this request it will so let's do one thing let's cl right click on right click on it and run and uh, let's see if it is running or not so let me see it is running here right and uh, right now it has started okay yeah so everything works fine it basically means it has run the test case and nothing is failing right because we haven't uh, added any kind of a uh, you can say uh, unit framework in that case so that's why it is not giving us the correct result like pass or fail but it's just giving us uh, true or false so let's do one thing let's change this and see if it is failing or not our assertions are basically failing or not right so let's make another request and it is running yeah so now if you see assertion failed so expected three but actually result did two so it means our code is working fine now this is the part of get let's jump into the put uh, post request right so let's create a new user so now it is very similar to making a get request just you need to give the payload data when we are making a post request you need to give a data which is which is which we call it payload or a user data right similarly we'll use a base url which is the little bit different in that case if you see uh the, we have api slash users right and that you need to use as a base url we don't need to pass any kind of a param in this case now this is the payload which is in json string format right so this is a json string right now and what you need to do is that uh, while preparing your request in given you need to mention the what kind of data that you want to send as a payload right because you want to create a new user in that case right so you will mention dot body user data which is coming as here now again rest of, rest of the things are pretty much similar we'll have when and in the when you need to mention post instead of get right and after that this is just a few methods uh this is log dot all which basically a log in console and assert that we are asserting status code is equal to 201 because when we create a new user it will basically give us a new user as a 200 it will give stpp code as a 201 and body we are checking that id is not null in that case again we are using a hammer cast matcher in that case right so let's run, run it again here and see the results yeah so if in fact everything works fine it, it will not give you any kind of error so right now you will see like lots of uh this console dog log basically telling okay id is equal to 679 which basically means that uh 
our uh, user has created is created right right so now we have covered get and post method right so let's see uh, how patch works so similarly a patch works when you have already have a user created so you need to change the base url in that case so it can be dynamic if you have a particular user which is uh, coming from another request it can be dynamic also so now uh, i'm just changing the name to aa and again it is very pretty much similar to the post request just uh, you need to change the math method now and here the data also it's changed because we want to replace it with the uh, because we are making a patch request which is a partial update we are just changing the few keys for example name a in that case right uh, so let me undo this one yeah and let's run this one again and if let's see if it is everything works fine in that case also right similarly make, you can make make the put request also and here in instead of mentioning patch you just need to change it to push put right so let's see what is it so yeah uh, ignore the last errors that is nothing but uh, as you can see we have we are getting an updated method with updated uh, key it basically means that patch request is successful and we have a updation right i hope that makes sense similarly if you want to do put you can do the put also so because in, in the put method you are just changing both of the values in patch you are just changing few few of the field, fields right so what is the major difference between put and patch pa put is basically used to update the full resource is basically it is the full there is a full record in server it, it will going to replace full all the keys right where in patch it will basically update a partial resource for example if you want to update just a row number of a student if you want to update only name of the user right so then where you can use the patch request so that is the major difference and trust me guys this is one of the major interview question in api testing right uh, i hope that makes sense and uh, so uh, thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video